Well, how about the cellar? Should we look down there? No, he couldn't possibly be down there. Oh, how do you know that? Well, the cellar door is locked. There's no other way for him to get down there. Well, I, I guess I'd better get back to the search then. You coming? I'll be along in a minute. There's some things I'll have to do here. You go ahead. I'll join you later. Jenny, who was it? I have to know if someone saw you. Where are my babies? Downstairs, where you left them. You shouldn't have left them alone, Jenny. Oh, has something happened to them? No, no, nothing's happened to them. Come, let me take you there. What is it? Quentin is gone. Yes. Doesn't seem so very long. Jenny, please, come with me. Come. Anybody here? Wilkins, you're going to stay here and answer a lot of questions. Let go of me. Only after you tell me everything I want to know. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. Who do you want to talk to, Wilkins? Me or the police? Look, you don't think... You think I killed him? It isn't important what I think. It's what you're going to say to the police and how you're going to convince them. Look, I... I had nothing to do with this. You had a motive, didn't you? Look, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You and Quentin were both interested in the same woman. Beth. Now, he was winning her. So you got angry at him and you came here and killed him. You're crazy. I am not the person to think about. It is the police who will reason this. Tell me. How did you get here so soon after I did? I followed you here from the old house. Well, then I don't have to worry about what you're going to tell the police, do I? You got here like one minute after I got here, so I didn't even have time to kill him. So you can tell the police that. I can, but I might not. What do you mean? I'll help you, Wilkins, only if you help me. Help how? I told you there were some questions I wanted answered. What questions? You lied to me when you came to the old house tonight. You told me you were looking for a missing child. But I was. If that were true, you would have welcomed my joining the search. But you didn't. You were very nervous when I suggested my coming with you. Now, who are you looking for? Look, I don't know what you're after, Mr. Collins, but you've got to understand something. I'm just an employee you of this estate. You know more than you pretend to know. Now, who are you looking for? I can't tell you. Why not? I can't, because I gave my word. 
You gave your word before there was a murder. And now you are the prime suspect in that murder. Listen, you know I'm innocent. You're not going to just stand by and see something happen to me. I know that. I can and I will. I had a reason for coming to Collins Port. There are some things that I want to find out. Like who killed Quentin tonight and why. Why do you think that I know who killed him? It's very easy to understand that. You were searching for someone in the woods tonight. And judging by your behavior when you came to the old house, that person could be dangerous. Now, who is it? Mr. Collins, you got to understand, I, I got a good job. I, I don't want to lose it. I promise you that your, this will be kept in the strictest secrecy. Your job will not be jeopardized. All right. I was searching for Jenny. Jenny? Yes. See, I was the reason that she escaped. When I brought her her food the other night, she hit me over the head. She took my keys and she ran away. Mr. Collins, you got to understand, she's crazy in the head. She could hurt herself. Or somebody. Who do you mean by we? Beth. Beth and Miss Judith. So Jenny was the one who was locked up in the tower room? Yes, until a couple of nights ago, and then they put her down in the basement in a cell. See. Just who is Jenny? Is she by any chance Edward's wife? No. She's Quentin's wife. Over there. They've oh. been waiting for you, Jenny. Oh, yes, my babies. Were they crying, Beth? Yes. Oh, poor babies. You shouldn't have left them alone. You must promise me it won't happen again, Jenny. The moon was so lovely and full tonight. Jenny, promise me. It was like that the first time we met. Oh, it's strange how everything came back. The memories of all the good times. And we were so happy together. But our happiness was very brief. It came and went with the passing of one springtime. It was no summer that year. He took it with him when he went away. What are you saying, Jenny? He kissed me tonight. I knew he wasn't very happy to see me, but he kissed me anyway. Oh, my God. You saw Quentin tonight. Yes, Quentin. He knows. He knows, then. What are we going to do? He seemed frightened of me. Oh, stop, I'm... stop rambling, Jenny. Try to understand. Now that Quentin knows you're here, he'll do everything he can to send you away. No, he won't send me away. No, and he won't be frightened anymore either. It's no use talking to you. You don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what a danger he is. You never did. Danger? Oh, there's no danger anymore, Beth. No, not anymore. Quentin is gone forever. I made him go away. How? How, Jenny? He would have taken my babies away from me. I had to kill him, Beth. <laughs> Don't you respond to me? Don't you understand? You must come to me. I need you. I need you. Why, thank you, Bart. Angelique. You have no idea how gratifying it is after all these years to hear you finally admit that you need me. much as you want, but I need your help, Angelique. Oh, you sound rather desperate. Could this be the reason? Yes. Did you kill poor Quentin? If I wanted to kill anyone, would I have to use a knife? Oh, forgive me. 
Well, what do you want from me? You had the power to restore this man's life. That's what I want you to do. I thought you hated Quentin Collins. I do. Well, then you should be very glad to see him, Dick. Well, I'm not. Why? Will you do this for me? Not until we settle two things. Your motive and my price. You knew there would be a price, didn't you? Yes, I know you well enough for that. But we'll discuss your motive first. I'm very curious to know why you want Quentin alive. Because he isn't supposed to be dead. <laughs> At least sure? not now. Well, when is he destined to die? How? By being sealed up in his room at Collinwood. If he stays dead now, then the course of history will be changed. I warned you that your mere presence here in this town would cause this to happen. Even if I do as you ask, other things will be changed the longer you are here. I know that. But that is a risk I must take. I came to Collinwood to get information that will save two lives when I go back to the future. If Quentin stays dead now, I will have failed. I can see this is very important to you. You know it is. Now name your price. No. No, Barnabas, not now. I want to be certain that when I lay down my terms, you will agree to them. You have rejected me so many times in the past. This time it will be different. This time, I intend to do everything in my power to show you how hopeless it is for you to reject me again. What are you going to do? I will see to it that Quentin rises and lives. But that is all he will do. What do you mean? You see, when it happens... When I give the command, you will rise and walk again. And you will do whatever I tell you to do. My wish shall be your wish. My goal, your goal. And together we shall bring Barnabas Collins to his knees. You'll tell Edward to telephone when he arrives. Thank you, Mr. Snell. He's expected to the accountant's office in Bangor, but he's not there yet. Mm -hmm. Did you tell Mr. Snell what happened? No. Only that Quentin had had a serious accident. He wasn't surprised. He said, yes, Quentin always was a mischievous fellow. <laughs> well, he's all finished with his mischief now. And I can't say I'm sorry. Carl, please. He was our brother. You might at least try... Oh, and miss the chance to say all the things I was afraid to say when he was alive? Oh, never. Quentin Collins. You were a bounder. And a bully. A rake. And a lecher. And a liar. And a... What's the matter, Carl? Judith, he moved. I swear, lying in his coffin, Quentin moved. Judith, I swear it, he moved. All right, Carl. Don't mourn him, but don't mock him by joking at a time like this. I'm not joking, Judith, believe me. Exactly he... how did he move? waking up from sleep. Carl, Quentin's sleep is eternal. I'm not certain of that. I am. I'm certain and weary. It wasn't easy telling the police what happened. This house is a very private place. Yes, but murder is a very public thing. I am aware of that. That's why I agreed to cooperate with the police and tell them what happened. Yes, you did very well. I did what had to be done. I always do. <laughs> well, you convinced the police, all right. You had them in and out of the house in no time at all. You didn't even let them search the grounds. There was no need to. I told them that Dirk was going to search the grounds, and he had. Yes, and found no one. 
The murderer is exactly where I told the police he was, where they are looking now, down by the dock. I'm sure a sailor, a transient sailor, struck up an acquaintance with Quentin in a card game and discovered an opportunity to make a fortune by murder. He's probably far out at sea by now and we'll never know who it was. Yes, but we do know that it was done with Quentin's own knife. There's been no attempt to hide that. Yes, and that means it could have been almost anybody who knew... Oh, all right. It could, it could have been the sailor, but he's gone, whoever he was. And, and it, it could have been someone else who's still here. Carl, I have already told the police what happened. I see no reason for conjecture. Well, I know what you said, Judith. You don't, you don't like private... You don't like strangers to discuss private matters. But I'm no stranger. I'm your brother. And Quentin's brother, too. And I have a theory. Quentin was not killed by a stranger. Carl, don't you listen at all. The murderer knew him. Yes. His family and his friends and his women. They were the ones who had reason to hate him most. <laughs> yes. I have a couple of ideas about that. Well, I'll admit they're private matters. Maybe they shouldn't be discussed with others. But still, they must be said. Can't you let Quentin rest even now? No. While Cousin Barnabas is walking around. Cousin Barnabas? Yes, what was he doing at the cottage? And why was he right there when, when Quentin's body was discovered? Now, there's something eerie about that and about him, too. Cousin Barnabas is always a gentleman, and a very considerate one at that. Yes, yeah, so considerate, considerate he wouldn't even come to Grandmother's funeral. Wouldn't even be a pallbearer and walk her to a grave. He's explained that. He had very urgent business in Bangor that day. All right. I've got another theory. I don't want to hear it. Yes, the gypsies. A knife is a gypsy weapon. Magda and Sandor. Oh, why not? I wouldn't be surprised if, if they were involved somehow. Oh, Carl, when are you going to start <laughs> accusing me? That's what I really think. What? Oh, no, so some woman, I mean, anyway, any woman. It was probably a woman who, who killed him. Uh, what? Yes, uh, it, it was Quentin. It, it had to be a woman. Lucky Edward was in Bangor. You'd be accusing him next. I wouldn't be surprised if he was involved. He could have paid someone to do it. Carl, it was not Cousin Barnabas. It was not a gypsy. It was not a woman. That's the most absurd theory of all. It was not Edward, nor I, nor a paid assassin. It's exactly what I told the police. Jameson, I was just coming in to talk to you. Please sit down. What about? Please sit down. It, this won't be easy. Something happened to Nora? No. No, not to Nora. My father! Has something happened to him? Quentin! Something's happened to Quentin! He's been hurt! Jameson. It's much worse than that. He's dead. I, I know how close you were to him. But you must be brave now and help Nora. It won't be as bad if you stay together. Jameson. Jameson. Jameson, where are you going? Quentin will be killed by a woman. And Grandmother used to say, Oh, Grandfather, stop talking such nonsense. Stop <laughs> talking nonsense. Well, I was only saying what Grandfather said. Jameson. Rachel told you, didn't she? Your Uncle Quentin is dead. You know that, don't you? I know he's not dead. But... I know he's not dead. He's not! I know he's not dead! Please, 
Quentin. Don't be dead. Please don't leave me alone. You liked that music. It was your favorite. I'm going to keep playing it over and over again until you hear it, until you have to hear it. 